Regal Pale, one of America's two great beers, invites you now to join us at that country music party, Ozark Jubilee. Hi there, and welcome to a real country music Christmas party at the Ozark Jubilee. Yes, the more once again from the heart of the Ozark Mountain Country, Springfield, Missouri, where we're about to have old-fashioned barn for us. And now here's America's favorite country gentleman, Mr. Red Foley. I don't know of a more loyal group of people to be here with us on Christmas Eve night. We didn't expect but a three or four people, and here we've got hundreds of you wonderful people with us here tonight. And we're celebrating our Christmas Eve party in Uncle Sipes and Aunt Sapp's barn, and I don't know of a more authentic place to celebrate Christmas Eve as the one whose birth we're celebrating was born in a barn. Well, sir, welcome to our Ozark Jubilee Christmas party here at Uncle Sipes, Uncle Sipes Bryce Fields Bar. And this night of all Saturday nights, we're so glad that you could come and be with us. You know, even though it may be kind of tough sledding for old Santa, because there's no snow, why Santa Claus has promised to drop in tonight anyway. So we'll kick off with a little song that's sort of inviting. Uh, Santa Claus called Here Comes Santa Claus with Mr. Bill Wimberly and the Rhythm Boys. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Vixen and Blitzen and all his reindeer pulling on the rain. Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. Hang your stockings and say your prayers, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. He's got a bag that's filled with toys for boys and girls again. Hear those sleigh bells jingle jangle, what a beautiful sight. Jump in bed and cover up your head, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. with our host and hostess. They're back here somewhere behind the Christmas tree. That's Uncle Sipe and Aunt Sap. But right now, they're busy sort of satisfying the appetites of this gang back here. And talk about big appetites. Boy, they are whales. You know, most of these Jubilee folks were sort of farm-raised, hand-spanked, and what you call corn-fed, and they eat like a bunch of harvest hands. I want you to know. Now then, Let's liven up the party in a way that you folks always seem to enjoy. Here are Mr. L. D. Keller and the Jubilee Pro Jubilee Promenade.
nearly every Saturday night during the 48 weeks that we've been visiting with you folks, why, some of our gang had to be away on personal appearances. But, boy, we're glad to stay the night. For the first time, everybody is here home tonight for the party. So you just sit real still right now for a minute because we've barely gotten underway with our Christmas Eve Ozark Jubilee. Oh, hi, I'm Jim Norris. I've just been reading the latest work of the Regal Pale Brewmasters. And you know, between these covers is the most exciting, the most fascinating, the most... Well, here, let me show you. Now, this is a brand new edition, and once you pick it up, you just can't put it down. It's completely unrevised and unabridged. In fact, well, there hasn't been a change in this light and mellow Regal Pale taste for three generations. It's always the same fine, fun-loving beer glass after glass. And boy, you'll want glass after glass, too, because Regal goes down so light and bright and breezy that uh, you never have that stuffy, filled-up feeling. So let me heartily recommend this Beer of the Month Club selection for every month of the year. It's on your brew stands now at taverns and stores everywhere. Light and mellow Regal Pale, one of America's two great beers. Folks, I'm going to start using one of these roving mics here because I'm going to be roving around here through these people and bringing them up to entertain you from time to time. You know, I'm strictly an Ozarkian by adoption, and I've never lived anywhere that I really liked it more. But a fellow who's about as much a native of the Ozarks as anyone could be is a wonderful, lovable guy back here, and I'm going to run back here. Slim Wilson, come here, buddy. Put that coffee down there. Hi. <laughs> I caught you nothing, did I? Yes, sir. Slim Wilson, you know, and for my money, this boy here is typical of the warm-hearted, easy-going folks who make the Ozarks such a great place to call home. Slim, and here is Slim Bo Wilson now with a song right in the spirit of the season called, let's send this over to the Hawaiian Islands, huh? We got some viewers over there. Okay, right. Christmas right. Island. How'd you like to spend Christmas? On Christmas Island How'd you like to spend the holiday Away across the sea How'd you like to spend Christmas On Christmas Island How'd you like to hang your presents On a great big coconut tree How'd you like to stay up late like the islanders do? Wait for Santa to sail in with your presents in a canoe. If you ever spend Christmas on Christmas Island, you will never stray for Every day your Christmas dreams come Regina Owen? Uh -huh, that right sounds here, like a Hawaiian name, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, but she's a native Springfielding right here <laughs> in the Ozarks. Well, bye, uh -huh. Georgina. 
We enjoyed that. Would you want to say Merry Christmas to all of our wonderful friends, Regina? Merry Christmas. Well, thank you, and a Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, sir, as I said a while ago, Santa Claus promised to drop in on us tonight, and it looks like he, he's, going, he's going to live up to his promise, I believe. I hear him out there somewhere. Here, old Sambo and Reindeer and Pete. Repeat. And right, Rudolph. And... Hey, oh, hey, wait a minute. Oh. Yeah, wait. He's stuck oh. in the chimney. Oh. Wait just a minute, Doc. Oh. Wait just a minute, Doc. Oh. Huh? What? Oh. Anyhow, oh. Right, wait just a minute. Outside, outside, outside. Wait just a minute, oh. will you? I'm trying uh, to get well, him out. Well, turn him around sideways. Sir. Sideways? You can't tell which side is sideways. <laughs> well, wait just a minute. Now turn him around this way. Come on, come on now, Chris. Chris? Uh, 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 Red Foley, and you're going to meet all the rest of our gang here in just before too long. Say hello to Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you, we're glad you made a call on us tonight because we have many wonderful little kids that are in our audience. Tonight, well, honey. I'm just happy to spend a little part of my Christmas Eve here with you folks, Mr. Foley. You know what? Uh, some of our own children here uh, wondered if you ever tried to sing a song. Do you ever sing? Well, once in a while I do. Uh, you've got a singing program here. I've got a well-known reindeer. I could sing a little bit about him. Old Rudolph. Well, he's Old doing Rudolph. right well for himself. Well, me to take this. <laughs> Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, and they shouted out with glee. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, he'll go down in history. <laughs> All right. Well, friends, I know Santa Claus was capable of a lot of things. I sure didn't know the old fella could sing like that. Right, tell you what, let's get him one of those recording contracts, uh, contracts, contracts, rather. We'll keep him busy all year long. That'll be okay? <laughs> all right. Dear friends, if Slattery can get on that soapbox of his now and speak on the favorite subject, I hope this weekend, and while all the family's together, you'll uh, make like real serious plans to come and see us here in Springfield, Missouri. Just write us tonight for ticket ordering information. Honestly, there's nothing in the world that you could do that would make us happier than to have you right here at the Jubilee in person. This is the missing persons department. Now here's where we try to find what persons are missing. Like, well, some people are missing uh, their wallet or a gold tooth or, well, last year's gas bill or any manner of things. But there is one important thing that a few people seem to be missing, and that is the fun of drinking light and mellow regal pale beer. Are you? Well, if you are, follow me to the greatest case of my whole career. And here it is. Now. As we open the case, we find Exhibit A, 24 copious cans of the most frolicsome, fun-loving beer you ever tasted. Now, of course, it's elementary, Watson, to sample the evidence. One taste, one taste, Watson, and you deduct that the contents, this bright, fun-loving flavor is unmistakably, unchangingly regal pale. So, uh, why be missing a bet? or a beer, as long as it's Regal Pale, one of America's two great beers. 
Santa Claus, you're going to have an easy time tonight because we got it all figured out. Got it see? all figured out. Well, I Uncle Sipe draws the name out, and then we give it to you, and you find the gift. All all right. Right. Next First one there? Yes. First one. Sip? Well, this just ain't sap there. Ain't sap? Yeah, ain't oh, sap. I've That's got the right down here. Here, here. you take that gift to her there. Hey, Sap, come out here. There you are. Now, don't open it for just a minute because we all want to see it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, right. Well, we've been kind of kidding along, kidding around in our Christmas spirit up till now, friends. But if we can get a little bit serious now, let's listen to Chuck Bowers, our wonderful boy from the Ozarks here, with a song called, Will Santa Come to Shantytown? Chuck a luck. <laughs> To a poor little boy like me Will he bring me some toys Like the other girls and boys Will Sandy come to Shanty Town If he sees our Christmas tree Mommy said he would If I promised don't have a fireplace or a chimney on our shack like the other lucky children have who live across the track. Now if I say my prayers each day when Christmas rolls around, will Sandy come to Shanty? He didn't stop last Christmas Eve Doesn't he know we live here Will my mommy have to paint my toys The way she did last year now, if I say my prayers each day when Christmas rolls around, will Santa come to Shanty Town? Hey, Sap. Thank you, Chuck. Come here. Oh, my goodness. That looks dangerous. Let me see. What? What? That looks to like. My it's mighty hard for me to relax when you're chopping wood with a dull old axe. <laughs> <laughs> this league of it to Uncle Five for big clay slap up. You got another one there? You got another one here. Hey, dog no, this is Pete uh, Pete Stamper there. Pete Stamper? Yes, sir, Pete I'll Stamper. Call old Pete up there. Here, take this one. Here. Hey, he's got a big one, Peter. <laughs> You take that back there and be opening it up. We'll see what you got a little later, huh? Oh, gone. He must have something really wonderful in there. Well, see, you know, no party in our part of the country would be complete without a couple of old codgers who could get music out of almost anything you could name. And it's those two old loonies with their dresser drawer symphony tonight. Lenny and Goo Goo, boys. <laughs>
have yourself a call, eh? Well, sir, uh, let's see. Who's got the... Let's see who's going to get another gift here. Pete's still unwrapping his over there, so we'll see it just a little later on. Let me see this one right here. Hey, are you a lucky guy? Sight, this is for you. Draw his own name. Uh, don't draw his own name. <laughs> you mean yeah. that draw his your own name, Sight. Yes, sir. Uh, don't open it just for a minute now, will you, please? You go back over there and sit down now. Thank you, Sandy. That's the best thing you've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, here's a boy that uh, is not one of our native sons, but we are proud that he seems to like to come and see us real often. From deep in the heart of Texas, young man that... We're very proud of Billy Walker right here. Billy? Uh, boy, uh, this is a song written by one of Bill Wimberley's former band members, Jimmy Hall, called A Cowboy's Christmas Song. The snow is white on a trail as I ride along. I sing a thing of a wadi's dream, a cowboy's Christmas song. I see a glow from the ranch below, a light still waits for me. This bag of tricks will ride the range with me. The pattern of the stars in heaven on this Christmas night. Wish a happy birthday to the Savior, your Look at Uncle Sipe's package here. I want you to help me sing a song, will you, buddy? Miss Foley, what, would what, you what have did you me get out? There, Uncle would you read that card to me? I, I forgot my glasses. Well, you got on a pair of glasses there. <laughs> they, they Don't be a smart aleck. Just read them. <laughs> <laughs> They're not your reading glasses, though, huh? All right, all right. Here's a little something just for you. And when you uh, when you bite off more than you can chew, and it's from a sap. Let's well, see what bless it is. her heart. Uh, well, uh, sir. <laughs> 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 Go back there and put them in. I want to say oh, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you wait there for just a moment because right now it's somebody else's turn to do the talking. Ever use one of these? It's a witching wand. It's just a branch of willow. It's supposed to help you find water. Well, I, I guess they may work all right, but boy... When you're really thirsty, there is nothing quite like a tall, cold bottle of Regal Pale. You just pour the cool, clean, convivial content into a bright and happy glass. And not only does it quench your thirst, but that light and mellow Regal Pale flavor tastes so, so downright good that you just want more and more. And of course, you can drink glass after glass of Regal because it goes down so light and bright and breezy that... Uh, you never have that stuffy, filled-up feeling. Best of all, to find Regal, you don't have to be a wizard of the witching wand or master of the mahogany or chief of the Chinese cranberry bush. 
Just ask for it in any tavern or store. Light and mellow Regal Pale. One of America's two great beers. on every show during Christmas time. It's called White Christmas. Billy Walker, you help me. Will All you? right, I'll do Go, boys. of America's two great beers invite you to join us next week when we again bring you the Ozark Jubilee. Stations coming here from the heart of the Ozark town in Sunbury in Springfield, Missouri. ABC Television Network.